Um, welcome to the official quote unquote Go Contributors Workshop. Um, this is going to be, it's a little bit of a hands on workshop, so I'm going to give a short talk. It's going to be five, 10 minute stops. And then I'm going to shut up and we're going to get to the actual fun part, which is contributing to Go with our help. If you guys want to open these slides, this is a short link to the Google Slides on Google Docs. They're going to be helpful because they contain lots, the slides contain lots of useful links and instructions that you should follow later. So please do open them or have somebody open them near you. We'll leave this link up. Yeah, we're going to leave this up afterwards. So don't worry if you haven't had time to open them. Um, for now, we're just going to go over the slides together, and I'm going to tell you what we're going to do together later, and then you can just go over the slides again if you are missing any details when you're doing it yourself. So um, this slide, I actually wrote it many months ago before today's talk by um, Arita. So it's kind of going a little bit against what he said earlier today, but what we mean by contributing to Go today, we're talking about sending patches. So this, this workshop is specifically about sending CLs on Garrett, about sending PRs via Garrett. So what we mean by contributing to Go, we mean all the official repos, such as there's obviously the main Go repo that you know about. You might know it from the golang slash go mirror on GitHub, but it's the same thing. And that contains a compiler, the runtime, the standard library, and other pieces like documentation. And there are also these sub-repositories, which are still official, but not shipped with Go itself. You probably know some of them, like build, or net, or tools. For example, Go imports is part of tools. It's not like Go FMT part of Go itself. There are a bunch of services involved, obviously Garrett. If you don't know Garrett, it's, um, it's a Git server, so it's like GitHub, and it's a very powerful tool to review changes, to review pull requests. Uh, the Go project does not use GitHub for pull requests because they have been using Garrett for a longer time. That's, we could talk about that for a long time. GitHub, it's used for issue tracking. Also for the milestones, and as I said, the Git mirror, but it's not gonna be terribly important besides just the issue tracker. And then lastly, there's build.golang.org, which is kind of like Travis or CircleCI and other systems like that. It basically just runs tests on a lot of environments and operating systems. But for the most part, you're not going to be interacting with build.golang.org. It's just interesting to know about. And impo an important piece of information, please clone from Garrett. Don't clone from GitHub, because GitHub is just a mirror. And if you want to send changes, if you want to send PRs to Garrett, it needs to, to talk directly. Git needs to talk directly to Garrett, not to GitHub, because that is just a mirror. There's some terminology that you should get used to. I, I do realize that this is a little bit silly. We could do away with all this terminology and adopt perhaps more modern or popular terms. But nevertheless, these are used nowadays, so you should at least be familiar with them. A CL or change, CL just means change list. It's the same thing as a pull request. A patch set, it just means a version of a CL. So for example, if you first update one commit and then you update that commit, those are two different patch sets, even though it's still one commit. It might seem a bit confusing, but it just, you're gonna see it once you use the website. Tip, it's, I believe it's terminology from Mercurial. It just means the latest version, same thing as master. A tribot or a builder, it's just one of the machines that runs CI, that runs your tests on some environment. Mailing, it just means um, submitting. It means um, uploading a CL, as in merging it. When you upload a CL and then it gets merged into master, that's, sorry, I'm getting confused here. Mailing is uploading the CL to Garrett. Submitting is getting it merged, right. See, even me, I get confused with these things. Uh, LGTM, you might be familiar with this one, looks good to me. That's what Brad uses all the time. Um, how Garrett CLs work. If you've never used Garrett or anything like, like it, this might seem confusing, so please uh, keep this in mind. Each CL on Garrett has exactly one commit. This is, this is unlike systems like GitHub, where you can have multiple commits in a pull request. On Garrett, it's always one commit. And comments are drafted, so if you leave some comments, please remember to click the reply button, because if you don't, they're just gonna be saved there, and nobody can, will be able to see them besides you. And that happens quite often. Commit messages, they're files to be reviewed within a CL, so people can leave comments and update them as well, so that is very useful. And as I said earlier, patch sets can be navigated, and you can see the differences between multiple versions of a CL. And we use a run tribot label, which means we should run CI on the CL. I assume this is because otherwise people would abuse the system. 
And then the tribal result is another label that is used to report whether or not CI is happy with a CL. Uh, code review is a little more contrived than on, for example, GitHub, because it's not, people can not only say approve or disapprove, there's a little bit of, um, it's more like a little bit grayscale. So for example, you can say minus two for I, I definitely don't want this merge, this merged. You can say plus two as in I approve this, it can be merged, but you can also give minus one and plus one as sort of halfway versions of that. So for example, plus one means it looks good to me, but I'm not confident enough to approve this change. And the numbers do not add up. So five people saying it looks good to me, but I'm not approving doesn't mean that you have a plus five. It doesn't mean it's gonna be merged tomorrow. It doesn't mean that. It could mean that if somebody who has the power to do plus two says, you know, I, I trust these people, but otherwise don't add the numbers. So this ends all the theory, if you wanna call it that. The initial setup that we're gonna need for this is um, you should all have a Google account. I know that's a little bit of a weird uh, prerequisite, but uh, I believe that you need a Google account to sign up on Garrett and, so, and sign the CLA. And you should have Go and Git installed because those are what you need to actually upload the changes and build them. Um, we're gonna follow, if you click on that link that is there once you open the slides on your laptop, it shows you step by step how to sign the CLA, which is basically what, is, it's basically what, a document that you sign and say, I am gonna upload changes following the license and following the terms of this open source project. The copyright is still gonna be yours, so don't worry about that. It's also gonna configure Git to talk to Garrett properly, and finally, it's gonna tell you how to get a Garrett account with your Google account and, and basically connect all of that. And we're gonna use a tool called Go Contrib init later that's basically gonna check that all the setup is, correctly, is correct. So what we're gonna to do today is everybody's gonna submit their first CL, their first pull request, and it's gonna be merged, ideally. This CL is, gonna, is only gonna be a hello world CL, because obviously we don't wanna be coming up with 100 different changes, real changes that people could do, we would, it would take forever. Uh, we're gonna use a repo called Scratch, which I'm gonna describe in, in a second, and we'll see how to update a CL and how CI works. And obviously we have a bunch of mentors, which uh, I think we have about six or seven, raise hands, Okay, cool, we have quite a few. So these guys and girls are gonna help you if you have any issues. Obviously, you should, if you encounter any issue, you should try to fix it first yourself, but if you get stuck, please raise your hand and, and flag us down. So these steps that I'm, that I'm showing now, please don't follow them just yet, I'm just explaining them quickly. So what we're gonna do is use a Scratch repo, which is, it's sort of a, a, a silly repo that you can play with and upload and get changes merged. It's not any sort of real repo in the sense that anything important is in it, but it's still a real repository on Garrett, so we can play with it. So everybody's gonna upload a package with their username as a package name, uh, following these instructions. Go contrib init is gonna tell you whether or not your setup is correct with the CLA and so on. And then we're gonna do a change. Duh, duh, duh. For example, in this case, we're gonna do a change which is adding a hello world, but forgetting about the FMT font import. And please note that there's a copyright header, you should add that as well. So these are the steps to create a seal. As I said, I'm just quickly going through these because you're gonna go through these yourself later, yourselves later, following the, the slides. Uh, please note that we use the package prefix. We use, a, we use a package prefix in the commit message, in the commit title, that is an important piece. And where we say package, Oh, no, it's back. When, when you use package in, in these steps, that should be your username, okay? So for example, if my username is mvdan, then I, my directory name would be mvdan and so on. And then we're gonna, once we get the CI failure, because we forgot about the import, we're gonna update that CL. We'll, we're gonna see how that works, and then we're gonna see how CI is finally happy with our change, and then we're gonna get it merged if everything is good. There are some tips and gotchas. For example, um, your emails must match. If you use multiple email, emails for personal stuff and work stuff, make sure it's the same one with Garrett and Git. Um, make sure that editor is set correctly if you have issues editing your commit messages. Uh, Git mail is just an alias for Git code review mail, so if you see either version, it's the same thing. You can, see, you can use Git code review help if you wanna see how the tool works. Git code review is just a tool that interacts with Garrett, so it's sort of like a, a wrapper around Git. 
And if you want, you can use git commit instead of git change. They're essentially the same thing, but please be aware that git change, if you're updating a CL, it's going to amend the last commit. So if Hello? OK. If you want to use git commit directly, please be sure to amend your changes. If you end up with multiple commits, Gary is going to be confused, and it's going to upload multiple CLs, and then it's going to be confusing for everybody. And last thing, if you end up trying to clone and build Go, the Go itself, the project, you cannot do it inside GoPath. That's one of the limitations. That Audio gone again? No, back. Um, how the workshop will work. We're, we, we're using a, a Slack channel called Contributor, Contributor Workshop. You don't have to use it, but it's going to be useful to ask questions and get answers quickly without being limited by who's in, physically in this room, because there are some people that might be able to help you from other parts of the world. As I said, you should follow the slides yourself to get your CL up. And just when you get your CL up, please just wait for one of the mentors to pick it up, because that's how we're going to manage things, to keep things organized. And if you ask questions or reply to questions on the Slack channel, please use threads, because otherwise we're a lot of people and it might get confusing. Um, now, once your CL is merged, here are some extra, extra bits of information that might be useful. Uh, I'm not going to go over these myself now. These are extra pieces of reading and links for you once, you've done, once you're done with all the rest, OK? So it's just extra information. And if you have any issues or any questions about these extra steps, please come to us. And if anybody wants to do a real CL but doesn't know what to do exactly, we're also here to help. So for example, if somebody tells us, I'm interested in net HTTP, so maybe we're going to find a simpler issue that you can tackle and get a CL for that. And that is it. From now on, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to go back to the slide with the link. Should have probably put a slide at the end. It's taking forever. OK. So again, please open these slides on your laptop or computer. Um, this is going to be a pretty, um, I don't know how to say it. We're not going to be your moms on this. So please, it's up to you to follow the slides. But obviously, if you get stuck or if you have any questions, please flag us down. We're going to be walking around. And please have fun. And we'll see how many CLs we get uploaded. Thank you.